Kadesh, hello, Al Haria, which uh, in my scrappy Arabic should mean how sweet is freedom. Um, this whole cause uh, is always on my mind, and the freedom that I was born with, I feel comes with a responsibility. And that responsibility that we all share, which is to speak up for those that grow up with no freedom, that grow up with oppression. We need to raise our voices and be loud and clear and support those in need. I worked in 2016 with a lot of Syrians and Kurds and some Palestinians in Greece. Um, and I met some of the most beautiful people, some of the most incredible parts of humanity, the art, the culture, the music, the love was incredible. And I don't want to see that coming out of Palestine only existing in the diaspora around the world. We need to push our government, and yes, we need to push our council to support an immediate ceasefire, to stop the killing, to stop the bombs, because we're all people. None of us deserve to die. None of us deserve to not know when we're going to wake up or if we're going to wake up again tomorrow. And this country, that we're very fortunate to be part of, either to be born here or to migrate to and to live here, is a, a beautiful country overall, but unfortunately our government is not beautiful. A lot of our politicians want to continue supporting this genocide, this ethnic cleansing, either financially or directly through uh, assisting in military um, occupation. Can't think of the other word, unfortunately. Um, and we need to push them to change. So this Tuesday there is the council meeting that's already been talked about. The Green Party have tabled a motion and you can go on their website They've got a letter on uh, yeah. Right, yeah. They've got a letter on the website that you can just copy and paste and send to your councillor, whichever ward you're in. Hopefully you know which one. Um, just to push them for an immediate ceasefire, to push our government. Because that's one of the things we can do right now, as well as protesting. Perhaps when you go into a supermarket, check the produce before you buy it. If it's got Israel on there, it's probably grown on stolen land. So don't buy that produce. I can't suggest any other things to do with that produce because uh, that might be a criminal offence. But um, you do you. Uh, before I finish, what I would like to do, seeing us all here, it's already been spoken about the freedom, the humanity that is within us all. I'd like for you to look around you and to look to a person next to you that you maybe don't know and if you feel comfortable, give them a hug, look into their eyes, feel our love and humanity within all of us because this, this isn't going to end anytime soon and when we raise our voices against oppression, we need the support of each other. So thank you for listening to me today. Fee, fee! Fee, fee! From the river to the sea! Palestine will be free! Shukran Jazeelan.